I'm Charles Mann. I, my wife and I moved here in 1990 and we've raised two kids, sent them to the public schools, one is still there. And uh, I have to say when we came to Amherst, one of the big attractions, at least for me, was town meeting. I had this very romantic idea of the New England town meeting. I love the idea of direct democracy and it just seemed appealing to me in a very intuitive way. And then essentially over the years, um, I became very gradually aware that what town meeting was actually doing and how it actually worked was quite different um, from what I had imagined, you know, based on these sort of romantic notions I had started out with. So my, my wife is an architect and a professor at UMass, and so we know a fair number of people who are professionally involved in design and planning. And there's some basic principles of design and planning that I would see people like my wife talking about you know, when she was on the planning board um, and others. And I would realize that after a while, the town meeting was suspicious of them purely because they had expertise and they would be accused of being shills and uh, for, for industry or in the pocket of, uh, of, of industry. And it was startling to me, not only because of course I know them and know that that wasn't the case, but also because expertise is difficult to accomplish if you, you know, and, and keep up if you're not somehow trained and then you typically get a job in that industry. So people who are architects often work with developers, right? Because they're, those are the people who build houses in our, in, our, in our society. And so the very fact that they had studied something and knew something about it was being used against them to discredit them. And that just really bothered me. And I saw it over and over and over again. And then one of the things also that truly upset me was that um, people would have these very passionate ideas about this or that and were very unwilling to see what the implications of those ideas might be. And we saw it, you know, early in the 90s, that we realized that, you know, two particular causes of, of town meeting then and now were the preservation of open space and um, affordable housing. And both of those are really tremendous ideas, which I support, but they're actually opposed to each other, if you think about it, because the more land you fence off for open space, the less there is for everything else. And so the price will go up in a market economy like we, we have. And the more the land of the, the price of the land goes up, the less it becomes possible to have affordable housing. So you have to, those two ideas are in tension with each other and you have to have a dialogue between them to make them both work out as best they can. And instead, what the town has been doing for you know, a couple of decades now is blindly pursuing both of them as if they have nothing to do with, with, with each other. And when people have pointed, like my wife, for example, have pointed out the um, complicated relationship between them, they've been shouted down. And 